Welcome back to Reading Java Code. Second program, Calc 2 Numbers. This is the conclusion of the prior video showing you how the program actually runs. I didn't get to do it in the last video before the time ran out, but for those who want to see it, here is how it runs. This is what happens. The main method is called, then the user input method is called twice. Here's the value of having multiple having a method we can call it as many times as we as we want we don't have to code this every time because otherwise we would have to have these three lines up here six, it would create six lines of code now we can call this method over and over again we can call this method a hundred times but it wouldn't increase by the multiple of three lines it would only increase by just the one line once we do that the values are brought in the prompt first number we say it right here it comes in as a string because we pass it with double quotes it's a string and the prompt is now used inside of this print statement system out it shows it down here and then the input object that we talked about this input object is created and now we have access to the methods related to the scanner objects and we want the next integer and once that happens, we have this integer here that we pass this value to, and it's returned back to these values, to this, to this. And then we pass these two integers, because we created integers, to our next method, which is add two numbers. Here we are right here. No strings, because they're integers. See right here? We pass int, we, we're saying they're going to be integers. So therefore, we pass integers, and an integer comes back because we return an integer because of this. See right here? We call this an integer. We said this method will return an integer. So therefore, we create this here. Integer total is now being passed back. So it comes back to total. Now, I will tell you this. This is probably not good programming practice to use the same variable name twice. But this variable is hidden since it's inside of this method. And this variable is hidden because it's inside this method. If I created th that method out here, just, just to help you a little longer, if I said total, equals zero here this method this would be accessible accessible by both of all of these methods here but that's not what we want to do so here we go uh, so we down here we add the two numbers that came in number 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 plus each other equals total and we return total back so let's run this to see if we can get this right our first number will be 23. Our next number will be 22. So we should get 45. And the total is 45. How did I know that? I am a math genius. But anyway, here we go. We can run it again. Now, I wonder what happens if I put a negative number. And I'm sure you were wondering the same thing. I've never done this before. So let's try and see what happens. Let's do a negative 15. And then let's do a, hmm, a plus 50. We should get 35, right? Let's see what happens. And the total is 35. Who would have thought this program had all this power, all this computing power? It does. So what if we did this? I know you were thinking it too. What if we use two negative numbers? We'll probably get, hmm, let me think, negative 40, right? Wow, who would have thought negative 40? Now, I know I talked about if if you don't want negative numbers and you actually need a whole number, no matter whether it's negative or positive, if you just want to know, let's say, the distance between two numbers and you had negative 3 and a positive 5, that equals 8, right? It would be 8, I hope. Uh, it would be 8. Well, let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Hmm, let me think. With negative 3 and negative plus... Hmm, that would probably not be correct. It wouldn't be eight. It would be this. Watch. Since we got the program running, let's let's just use the program. So I'm gonna show you how to change it. Negative three. If we really want to know the difference between two numbers, the difference between this number and a five is really eight because you think about it, five to zero is five, and then you go down below zero, that's three more. That is eight digits between the two, right? You would think it says two. That's not what we're looking for. 
what we would have to do, we would have to do this. I talked about making negative numbers positive numbers. We could simply return this number as an absolute. And in a math class, you know what absolute means. It means give me the absolute value. Oh, boy. It wants another input. Check that out. So we're going to do this. We're going to input it this way. See, we have an input for absolute. See, it's math. It now will return the absolute value of the number no matter what we put in. So we should get an 8. Watch this. Because we want to know the difference between the two numbers. Negative 3 and 5. Look at that. An 8. Who would have thought? There are so many different imports we can do. Uh, there's so many libraries, functionalities, or features. It's just that simple. But this creates an absolute value of whatever we enter. So if you enter a negative number, it will always be positive anyway. That is what that means. But there's the results, folks. I hope this helps. On to the quiz.